On September 29th, 2023, Dwayne Davis, Dwayne Keith D. Davis, was arrested and taken into custody for the 1996 murder of rapper Tupac Shakur. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been so many stories and theories and just saying who killed who, and we've had multiple documentaries on it. I've watched every single documentary. I've watched the movie with him. I've watched just so much stuff about him and Biggie. It's crazy. And truth be known, I don't think we'll ever really know who did this shit, no matter how much evidence they're trying to point at somebody. Right now, and they bring this shit up, right now, now it matters to people because it got so talked about and high on social media. Like, Sam, social media is more powerful than the law, bro. Then you say law. it every week. Mm -hmm. And now, because it's blown up on social media, now we're going to try to investigate it and find the killer. Now we want to raid and search homes and find evidence of Tupac Shakur that, God, oh my God, who knows if we, you know, could find some evidence in there, what, 28, 27, 26 years later, 20 some odd years later, now mm -hmm. y'all care? It's ridiculous, bro. But now they got this guy into custody, man. Uh, Sam, say, just save me right now. Tell me who killed Tupac, bro. And then we can save ourselves the conversation. Who killed Pac, man? We still don't know, man. Pop's still alive, man. Staying in Cuba because that's one of the <laughs> Come conspiracy on, man. theories. Not you know. Hey, that's, hey, you. that's one of the cons conspiracy theories that they gave us, bro. They said the government done killed them. They said the police done killed them, man. They say Shug done killed them. Puffy done killed them, man. For real. They say any, anybody, say somebody in a white Cadillac or whatever, or white being pulled up. And then they say Keith D or whatever been doing all these interviews and writing books. Yeah, and he was then, on Vlad TV and he was talking about bro, he was in the car and shit. Exactly, bro. Why the hell would you talk to Vlad out of all people, bro? That right. you know that works for the police. You know, man, I don't understand why they even talk to this man for real, bro. And they give up all this. Man, they be so free. They be like, yeah, man, I killed this guy and did this and that. Bro, you don't talk to Vlad like that, bro. For real, you no. that short and sweet, you know? Like I said, you you tell Vlad and he and you know Vlad, man, he do his research, bro, man. I I, I got to give a shout out to, to Vlad because he was like, man, well, I seen in the book you said this, so what are you saying now? You know what I'm saying? Are you saying the the, the book is is you know what I'm saying like messed up or whatever? Or they 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 took your um uh, you took your statement wrong or or how is it? You know? Yeah, so, you got to stick to your shit or else you look right, like a dumbass, real, right? You're if, you're, crazy. if you're fucking lying, right? Right. So he end up telling them and. All these things, bro, for real. You talking about, oh, well, if Tupac was on my side of the window, I would have shot him. But the guy, Orlando, Orlando Williams. Anderson. Or and Anderson, Orlando right. Anderson or Anderson. Mm -hmm. He's the one that Pac beat up. That's his nephew. That's right. Mm -hmm. He's nephew. Yeah. Right, right. And he's so the he's one that Pac well, beat up in the club. In that, the club, or, In the right casino, before. the casino. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I thought it was at the mall or something. I think they said it was at the mall or the casino or something. No, like they that. was at the right. casino. It was caught on tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember right. seeing the tape. They was at a casino that night, and he went down there, and yeah, Pac started beating his ass, and mm -hmm. then it's supposed to be re supposed retaliation from that is the reason that, or one of the reasons that they're, that they're claiming that you know that this happened. I hate how it just took so long, bro. If they were really behind this, right. I, I hate that shit. I mm -hmm. can't help but to think that everybody had a hand in this. You know, I, right. For the longest time, I thought the government had something. I thought they killed Biggie and Pac, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I still could be correct in saying that. You know what I mean? And that's right. just my opinion, you know? They see this and take our video down, we'll know we're on to something, you know? I don't know. Right. I'm telling you. They said, uh, Keith D also said, Puffy hadn't sent that man a million dollars whatever for, for, for Pac Head. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of such, uh, shit that's going on right now. So, we just, like I say, we'll, we'll never know the final answer, bro. All it's going to be is freaking theories and witch hunts for the rest of our days, bro. You know, like I say, man, they took this guy out. They took Biggie out, man. That was two of the hottest artists, bro. And they was changing the world, bro, with their lyrics, bro. Biggie, man, had, in, had, such, yeah, an effect, had such an effect on the community and all these things, bro, for real. And, and Tupac, man, you know how I feel about Tupac. You know, right. so like I say, it's an understatement, man, how mm -hmm. great these guys were, bro, for real. And to take these guys' life at such a young age, 25, 26 years old, bro, man, it, and it's stupid as hell, bro, for real. And like I say, they they, they still not going to give us the truth. 
they just gonna give us a whole bunch of answers and we're gonna go through the stuff forever, bro. They make so much money off of this stuff for us not knowing, bro. The confusion of the people, bro, makes them billions of dollars. All the documentaries and the movies and the podcasts that they be everybody's about, profiting bro, off of that for shit. For everybody, yeah. bro. Everybody for real. Nobody can tell us the answer. And if they do, man, they're gonna try to kill them too, you know. It says right here, and this might have been the Vlad interview, I don't know, but it says on July 2nd, uh, 2018, that uh, Keith D, he had confessed to having a role in the killing of Tupac Shakur after revealing right. he was dying of cancer. He went on to say he was in the passenger mm -hmm. in the white Cadillac the night of the incident, refused to name the other suspect in the car, but confirmed that the shooter was Orlando Anderson, which was his nephew. Mm -hmm. The one that right. Pac, you know, beat up and they jumped at the casino. But, but they say all the other guys, they say all the other guys died though. So that's the only one that got left. So it's more like the an accomplice. Yeah. Anderson, you know? his, yeah, Anderson, his nephew that died, he died, he got killed two years later in a shooting. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he For was real, in the midst so. of a lawsuit like against Tupac because he was suing his estate, even though Pac was dead, he was suing his estate because of when he got his ass beat in mm -hmm. the in the uh, casino. Right. <laughs> And then he got, and then right when he was about to get his settlement, they just got his settlement pushed through. I think he was about to get it. It was like on a Thursday or some shit. Yeah, don't quote me on the days, but it, this is just a metaphor. But it was like on a Thursday, and he was gonna get his money like on Monday, and he got killed over the weekend or some shit. Like mm -hmm. it, it happened like that. Right. Like you didn't. It would have been like seventy grand too. And back then, that would have been a nice piece of paper. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Definitely. They can't possibly have much fucking evidence on him outside of just hearsay what he says. Like, but he could go to court, get a good lawyer, and be like, "Yeah, I said that shit for publicity. I prove I did that shit." You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. We can get on here and say we done murk this fool and that fool. That they still can't. What are they gonna do? Oh, well, he right. said he did it, so he had to right. do it. You gotta have evidence. You know what I'm saying? Do you like, have a you have the freedom of speech. Do you, do you have a bullet. Shape? Anything. Do you have any casings? Do you did have you come any up with anything here? after that right. fucking house raid you did? Back, mm -hmm. right. did, did, there was no. there any evidence of Tupac in this house twenty seven no. years later or whatever? Mm -mm. God damn, dude, a old, that's crazy. A old Tupac, a old Tupac CD, all lies on me. That's the only thing you see. Right. Tupac, there's the evidence. And he said he did it, so <laughs> convicted. Like what the hell, right. dude? We yeah. gotta do better than they don't that. Need, shit. They don't need that stuff. They got AI now, so they can. <laughs> Transform all that shit. Or whatever right. City we we found a we found a leaked phone call from 1996, the day after the murder, where mm -hmm. Keith D was talking right. to his nephew, and they're both AI voices generated and shit. It's like, wait a minute, how was that from 1996? But it sound you can hear Siri in the background. <laughs> the right, fuck? I'm telling you for real. Nah, you hear little Boosie playing. You playing little Boosie so right. and shit like man. What? Nah, man, this, like, this, nah. this don't line up. Like he a jit man. We'll never know, man. But like I said, I think they're going to make this stick to this dude by any means necessary, even without evidence, just to give try to close that shit up, give it closure. Oh, okay. You know, mm -hmm. right, because it's blown up so much. Now, social media influence is way more than the law. It gets farther than the law. It, everything's got to be done when social media, when it blows up so much, because mm -hmm. the world will go into a fucking frenzy if frenzy. Not, you don't see something done about it. That's what it's all about, dude. It could even be like 90% fucking cap or bullshit if they pretend to do solutions of potential problems that people are outraged or feeling some type of way about it. You know, just turn the cameras on, let's do it, and then, all right, now we're good. Go back to doing whatever how it was, but mm -hmm. social media, man, right. it's what empowers the world, man. It's not, it's bigger than the money. Right, it's bigger than the law, bro, for real. Tell you crazy sick, shit, man. Sick. Who killed Tupac? Somebody let me know who killed Tupac. What y'all think? Give me your wildest conspiracy theory. Shit, I don't care. I'll sit there and I'll read it. <laughs> he in Cuba. He's still in Cuba, man. <laughs> Chilling with the dreads now. <laughs> He's next week's special guest on the Let Loose podcast. Tupac Hell yeah, man. Tupac coming on. Tupac coming on Let Loose, man. Next week, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Beat up. Beat up. <laughs>